In Kenya, Rwanda, the language of Rwanda, Ejoheza means a brighter future. This is the story of USAID Ejoheza, which has meant a brighter future for 125,000 Rwandans. I'm Warenga Kibe, the program coordinator for USAID Ejoheza program. The challenge was great uh, five years ago when we started this program. We were to work in uh, eight districts of Rwanda, some of which are the poorest. About 90% of the population living on less than $2 a day, planting low quality seeds. So the yields were expected to be low season after season. And even though you increase agricultural yields, there's still the issue of malnutrition among the children because of lack of knowledge about balanced diets. And there was also the issue of adult literacy. They didn't know how to read and write. You can have a bag of improved seed, but you don't know what it is saying or how to plant it. And even if people made a little money, they didn't have the culture of saving or the skills to work with institutions like banks. The goal of global communities through the Azure Hazel program was to reach 75,000 people and improve their livelihoods. So many people, such a big area, and so many problems. But we found the solution right where the problem was. I am the change. Be the change volunteer. I am the change. I am the change. change. These are people right from the community who are trained and then they train their neighbors. They live in the same community. They know that it hasn't rained, so people are suffering from a lack of food. They know that in this household is facing malnutrition. And the BCVs are remarkably good teachers. Jenny Niragire is a great teacher. She is a Be the Change volunteer, or BCV. And with song and dance and practical demonstration, she is passing on the basic skills that are the keys to prosperity for her fellow farmers. The farmers have learned better farming methods and how to cultivate in the right time of the farming season. So we have reduced malnutrition. The success of USAID Ejoheza's training can be seen in the transformation of the land. About 3,300 acres of farmland have been improved, and over 85,000 smallholders and 44 cooperatives have received training. Among them, this 650-member cooperative in Yagasozi, where the crop has literally soared. For Ezra, it's like we were harvesting 1.5 tons per hectare. Today, we got to 4.5 tons. They're building a new drying shed for post-harvest storage, all with the leadership and training from 20 BCVs who are members of the co-op. By increasing yield, quality, and reliability, the cooperative has now signed a major contract with the United Nations World Food Program. It means a new steady income stream for the members and their families. That combination of agriculture and business training has also brought prosperity to smallholders like Elevance Mukakariza and her family. She used to be a subsistence bean farmer. Now, thanks to USAID Ejoheza, in partnership with the Walmart Foundation, she's growing cash crops from beets to bananas. Now, these bring in money. We eat them and sell at market. So we afford school materials. We can afford health insurance. So our household has changed, and that has led to a better life with my husband. And this is the latest addition to her business. Elevance is now a BCV. She's also a role model, and she's showing the entire community how manure can improve yield. And it must be working because her crop is abundant. She chooses her planting based on market demand. For example, bananas always sell well, and Elevance grows lots of bananas. You'll even find them on sale at this nearby store, which happens to be owned by Elevance's daughter, Monica. The integrated approach of USAID Ejoheza means the whole family is benefiting. For me, my mother made a huge change in my life because when I finished studying, getting a job, it was very difficult. But she gave me the money to open this shop. Now, I'm able to earn money each month. My monthly profit is 60,000 Rwanda francs. 
But making more money means knowing how to use it. So BCVs are also teaching responsible money management and savings to the many Rwandans with ambition and energy but limited financial knowledge. Old men used to hide money. Now, thanks to our training, they use savings groups. They are no longer old men who hoard money in a horn or their pocket or buried somewhere. Those new financial skills have meant a huge range of enterprises. For example, Thomas Tuyasenge is using those skills to run a small business, selling mobile phone cards in a market. For others, it's just the first step. If you happen to visit the village of Gizagara on a rainy day, you can find shelter and food in the Bel Nikuze sit-down cafe. Charge your phone? Her solar power charging station will top you off, or you can get a new do from one of her employees at her unisex hair salon, which is next door to her grocery store, all located in the building that she owns. Yes, Libelle is a successful conglomerate, all the result of her financial training with Edjo Heza. When I started business, you would not even have given me 500,000 Rwanda francs. I wouldn't know what to do with it or how to invest it. Now, you can even give me 5 million, even a billion. Now I would know how to invest it properly. But even a brilliant entrepreneur needs capital. And banks had limited loan programs for small rural businesses or farmers. USAID Ejoheza has been working with lenders, expanding programs for the newly knowledgeable entrepreneurs and growers. Ejoheza, we decided to work with them because we realized that uh, it is a way to reach many new clients and we have greatly increased the number of customers, especially from the savings groups. And this is the sound of a successful loan, a maize mill in Runinia, owned and operated by an Integrated Savings and Loan Group, or ISLG. It is one of over 2,000 that were created through USAID Ejoheza. Members pool their small savings, and through bank loans, cooperation, and hard work, this group is now a diversified enterprise. They rent out solar panels, run a cleaning service, and a beer distributorship. Over 2,000 savings groups have been established under USAID Ejoheza. Beneficiaries and saving groups have received over 2,700 loans, averaging more than 54,000 Rwandan francs each, or 71 U.S. dollars. Valenz Naziamana hopes to be an entrepreneur someday, operating his own driving school. But for now, he's happy to work as someone's employee at the daunting challenge of instructing new drivers. It's a dream job for the formerly illiterate, impoverished orphan. My mother left us and we lived with my father. But he died when my brother and I were still small children. And I did small jobs here and there, like fetching water just to survive. Valenz heard about USAID Ejo Heza's adult literacy program, and he was taught how to read and write by a BCV at one of the 400 centers. Valenz became one of the 40,000 men and women to graduate from the program. That is an 82% graduation rate, as certified by Rwanda Ministry of Education testing. For the former laborer, it was a remarkable milestone. My life changed thanks to Ejo Heza. When I finished learning how to write and count, I realized that a good life would be possible. I went to the driving school. After I got my driving license, the school offered me a job. For Valenz, literacy means pride, confidence, and income. It means a vegetable stall for his wife at the nearby market. And most important, for the formerly illiterate orphan, it means that his four children will have an education and a brighter future. My name is Patricia Nhabjizana. I am a Be the Change volunteer with the Asia Heza program. I teach proper breastfeeding, how to prepare balanced meals, what is a healthy diet, and hygiene, because everything must be done hygienically. Patricia's classes in health and nutrition have transformed this village, where severe child malnutrition was endemic. 
Across the USAID Edjo has a program, more than 142,000 Rwandans have taken nutrition classes like this. And Patricia's fertile, home-built kitchen garden is one of over 11,000 that were built by households with the support and training from Edjo Heza. You see them throughout Patricia's village, growing a balanced variety of nutritious vegetables. BCVs like Patricia and her husband have inspired their neighbors to create water harvesting systems, improve sanitation, and even tackle gender issues. Patricia seems amazed at how USAID Edjo Heza has changed her life. I was the kind of person who thought that, after the training, I would just go home and sit around. But I'm not like before anymore. I have improved. I got lifted up because of what I learned. They make more money, they have better health, and thanks to our Be The Change volunteers and community groups, we have created cohesiveness and prosperity in the community. So all of them are transformations that will pass on to the next generations of Rwandans, long after USAID Ejo Heza has ended. <laughs> Isato jero kone kono, isato jero kone kono.